I finished his Wigan 2, Gillingham 3. Firstly, a really cracking game of football for, uh, for us to watch. What was it like as the manager on the touchline? Yeah, I think it was. It was, it was certainly entertaining, wasn't it? Um, you know, I'm not going to uh, break down the goals against the four, but to come here with we, we such a young side, um, the experience that Shez is able to call on at Wigan. You know, there's still an excellent set of players here, what everyone says. Um, but we knew we didn't perform last week. We knew we had a lot of work to do in the training ground. The boys have done a lot of work on that particular shape. We, we'll change it, of course, to different styles, but, but it worked today and we should go away here very, very comfortable winners. But, you know, we'll take three points no matter how they come because the game is about winning whether there's spectators on the ground or not. You said to me on Thursday you'd be very proud to take your team to Wigan. How much prouder of them are you, having come here and won? I said, I'm very proud to work with all of them. You know, when you get entrusted by Arsenal and you see young Traitor, he's 18 years old. Mm. It's a fantastic finish. He's unlucky, he's disappointed. He didn't score another one. But, it, you know, when entrusted by Mark Robbins at Coventry for a young man like that to play against us on Tuesday and then come straight in and play like that, young Robertson is, will only get better. He's a terrific talent. And I have to look at my, my two centre backs today. Of Joe Gardner's a real tough opponent, but Magoma's getting fitter, which makes him get better. Tucker's getting back more like he was, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm really, really proud of him. I'm proud every day how, how the one to come in and walk hard and got on the training ground and smile. And it's, it's very young, it's very energetic. And I said to you on Thursday, some days that won't work for us, but some days it will. And I think we control large parts of the game today. And should have gone away really comfortable winners, but we'll always take a win, as I said.